The Senator from Kansas. Madam President, thank you. Um, I woke up this morning in Kansas uh, with some sad news. Um, one of our state legislators, uh, Bob Bethel, uh, a 13-year member of the Kansas House of Representatives, died in a car wreck uh, late last night. Uh, the Kansas legislature has had a difficult session and finally concluded, I believe, after 100 days of the legislative session, this year's uh, work in Topeka. Uh, and one of our central Kansas legislators in the drive home from Topeka back to Alden, Kansas, uh, was involved in a one-car accident, a fatality. And I rise tonight to pay respect to my friend, uh, and former colleague Bob Bethel, and express my respect and gratitude for his public service and my care and concern, in fact, my love for his wife, Lorraine, their family and friends. Bob Bethel was, I suppose you could call him a great politician uh, in the sense that his constituents uh, loved and admired him, they respected him, they cared about him. He could be called a great politician because in Topeka he was someone whose voice was listened to. But nothing about Bob Bethel really was a politician. Bob Bethel was a person who was a Baptist minister in his small hometown. He uh, loved God greatly. It's the focus of his life. Uh, he loved the people that God created in his community and across Kansas, and in fact became the administrator of a nursing home because of his care for senior citizens. And it was that extension of his care for seniors that caused him to want to serve in the legislature, uh, to extend that opportunity to make a difference in the lives of the people he cared for in his profession with public policy decisions that were important to them and their future, their families, in Topeka, Kansas. And again, I would say that there's nothing political about Bob Bethel. He was, he was respected and someone that everybody enjoyed being around, but it wasn't because he, as a politician, calculated what the right answer was or how to get along with people or took a poll to discover what uh, the issues were that people supported. It was just that Bob Bethel, in his love of God, had a love of human beings, of citizens of Kansas. And so you would see Bob Bethel with a smile on his face at every parade, at every community meeting. Uh, he was somebody that uh, I think sometimes in our lives as elected officials, uh, you may see people walk across the street sometimes to avoid the political conversation. But again, there was nothing political about Bob. He just was a guy who cared about people and it showed. And people enjoyed being around him and loved the conversation. And he worked hard at being a constituent service oriented member of the Kansas House of Representatives. Uh, it is so sad for us to lose such a person, and I hope that uh, Lorraine and family and friends in Alden find comfort in the belief that God will care for Bob Bethel in the life hereafter. They believe that in their lives, they demonstrated that to people across Kansas, and their focus was a love of others. It's a role model for all of us to make certain that we focus on the things that really matter, not the public opinion polls, not the calculation of how to get along with people, but the idea that we in public service are given an opportunity to make a great difference in the lives of others, and it ought to be that motivating factor, the one that Bob Bethel exhibited in, throughout his life, that uh, we should exemplify. So Rob and I, my wife and I, extend our greatest sympathies and care and concern to people across Kansas but to, especially to the family and the folks who know Bob so well in his home district, the 113th House Representative District in Kansas. And uh, our prayers and thoughts are extended to them. And we praise God for the life well lived of one of his servants, Bob Bethel. I yield the floor.